Hey everybody and welcome back to another lesson of physical education brought straight into your home. Today we are continuing to work on improving the accuracy of our underhand roll and we're going to do that while playing a game called progressive bowling which is a fun and exciting game and I'll show you that after we cover a few things. The first is before you do this activity or any of our activities, you really need a safe space where you won't hurt yourself, where you won't break anything because today we'll be rolling things and we don't want to roll into things that can break or could fall over and hurt you. So make sure you have a really safe space. And before we play progressive bowling, you'll need to gather some equipment. The first thing you're gonna need is a rolling object. You could maybe use a pair of socks, but a small ball will work better. I have this foam orange basketball I'm gonna use. Uh, you could, if you have a safe spot, use a, a tennis ball. A small ball works best, uh, as long as it won't hit something and break anything in your home. Then you're gonna need uh, five target objects. I have some ideas. One idea is something like this is a, a diet Snapple bottle. I could use this or five of these as a target object. You want the target object to be something that when it's hit by a ball will fall over because that makes it so much more fun. You can also use, this is a, um, a sparkling water can. This might work if, if it's hit, it would fall over. If you have action figures, like my son's Paw Patrol character, this is Rubble. Uh, he's in the Paw Patrol. Um, if I hit Rubble with my ball, he probably would fall over. You could use some action figures. I'm gonna use maybe Rubble, and these are Mega Blocks, because they can stand on their own, and they can fall over. And I'm gonna have, uh, I think, four stacks of these Mega Blocks. And maybe, uh, maybe I'll use the Diet Snapple bottle too. And then I'm gonna have um, uh, something to show where I should roll from. I'm gonna use a book. You could use a book too, or, or something that just marks your spot, like a piece of tape. This book is called The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane, but what the book is called is neither here nor there. And then you want to remember how to be a good underhand roller. And we have like six cues for you. The first thing I do is I face my target. The second thing I do is I hold my object in my main hand. In my right hand rolls, my left foot steps. This gives me balance and results in a more straight and accurate roll. I'm gonna swing low and release low. And I'm gonna release in front of my, my front foot low to the ground. So from the side, it looks like this. And then when I'm done, I point at my target and the ball will almost always go to where I'm pointing. That will help you be a good underhand roller. And then, then we're ready for progressive bowling. I'm gonna take my first, just one of my mega blocks. I'm gonna put it down on the ground so you can see it. And I'm gonna take this is where you can sort of decide how hard you want to make this activity. You could go three steps away. You could go four steps. You can go five steps. You want to go somewhere where it's challenging, but not too challenging. I'm going to go with four steps to start. And put my toes like this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I'm four steps away, and I put my book down to show where I start from. And I stand next to my book. Then I'm gonna swing and try to knock over my object. Stepping, I'm swinging. If I knock it over in progressive bowling, I set it back up and I get to add my second object. And I put it either next to it or in front of my stack. So I only have two stacks like that. So I progressed to two stacks. And I go back to my target area and I step, and I swing, and if I knock them both over, it has to be both, then I can get my third object, and I can add it. 
to the column. So I have three in a row. Then I go back and I roll again. Okay. If I roll and ah, I miss, then in progressive bowling, I have to take one of my columns away and I go back to two. And I'm still trying to get to all five objects. If I roll, I knock down both, then I can add another one. My goal is to ultimately get all five objects in a row and then to knock them over. I'll get one chance here. So once I get all five, if I roll, I knock them all over. Then I have completed progressive bowling. And I would mm, most likely run it back, do it again from a farther distance away because the farther I go, the harder it gets. You can do this activity by yourself or if you have a family member who wants to do it with you, you can challenge each other to see who can do it faster. You could have uh, one person with five objects, another with five objects, take turns seeing who can knock down the most objects. This activity is called progressive bowling. I hope that after this video concludes, you try it yourself. You're, you'll need one rolling object. You'll need five target objects of things that can knock down. And I have a book to show where to start from. I hope you enjoy progressive bowling and I hope you get better at underhand rolling and I hope we get to see each other real soon. Take care everybody, bye.